Uh, yo, Christian, first, I got a question, bro. Um, why do you have 27 books in the New Testament instead of 25, 24, maybe even 12 or 13? Who decides, like, what goes in the canon? Uh, that is a very good question. First of all, the Bible is a book of books, not a book. Uh, I can have a book, one book now. I can say I want to I wanna take the book of Mark alone, and I call it the Bible. I can put two books, and I call it the Bible. So putting them all in one book or separate them will not make any difference. Those books all are existed. No, but sir, why it, is it, it yeah, but like, why is it 27 though? Like not, who decided I'm, to I'm make I'm it I'm you. Like, that's you, my gave the, you gave me the question, I'm answering you. You didn't so, answer it though. I, I'm answering you, I did not finish yet. Okay, finish. You are, the, you are the kind who go to the waiter, you know, you just tell him what the food, and before he leaves, you say, what is the food? Um, so, I'm, I'm just wait. Hedging right now as we speak. Just, just wait. So, all those books is approved by us. Who is the one who approved them? It's not me. We have the prophets before <laughs> us, in the yeah, Old wait, Testament. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All done, all done. Let me finish. So, the prophets and the priests and rabbis and the father of the churches, they made books. Some they are considered as a part of the Bible because the Word of God is involved there, and some they are considered as a tradition. So some of the tradition can be collected and put it in one book or additional to the Bible, or we can take it away and we say tradition is only alone. So if a book is coming from God, a prophet of God, then that is a must to have, and let us say, we can't avoid. It's a must to read it. As an example, the Torah, or the book of Mark, or Luke, or John. So we have details about who is the one is valid and who is the one is not valid. And the answer for all what you said, we take it from people who be for us because they have it from people who be for them. And people who be for them, they take it from the prophets and those books are collected and written there. As an example, you as a Muslim, Muhammad never wrote a book. Uthman never wrote a book. Ali never wrote a book. But you take a book from Hafs. Hafs book is coming from who? According to Hafs, according to Asim, according to Ibn Salma, according, 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 according to Muhammad, and then according to Jibreel, and then according to Allah. But none of them saw each other. 200 years after, and you take what is according, and then you are coming to me and says, who is the one who decide? Go ahead. Yeah, hello. So um, that, I don't think that answered my question. So you said there's uh, like people before you that did it. So I'm pretty sure you're referring to the Athanasius canon, right? But the issue is Athanasius, in your view, is a heretic. Not, because I, did not, the I did not mention that name. I don't know even, I, don't, I did not hear this name before from you. You are Athanasius? smart. You don't know who's uh -huh. Athanasius? No, the, I do not know. Okay, I'll I'll tell you. Wait, uh, just to clarify. Uh, no, 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 don't tell me. I don't care for this name. You don't name care for, who you're saying. No, that. I don't care for this name. Just to show you that you are a hypocrite liar, because all the names you are mentioning is not where we take our resource from. You are a liar and a big fat liar. We take our source from Paul, from John, from Mark, from all the disciples of Jesus, and we take it from the prophet. Is the one you mentioned his name is a prophet? Yeah, hello, can I speak? Uh, Athanasius has apostolic succession under every... Is he a prophet? Uh, is he a prophet? Is he a prophet? One doesn't have to be a prophet to canonize... No, he have. Either he is a disciple, we don't take... He, he himself is not taking anything from his own. He take it from somebody else. So you are just a fool. You learn a name and you're coming to school me with it. Just get out of here. This is why nobody will know the name you mentioned. Do you know why? Because he is nobody. As simple as that. For us as a Christians, all the names, any name, Beside the name of the Messiah and the disciple are not, they are nobody. For nothing is coming from their own. 
the one who confirm and the one who reject and the one who accept and the one who make a book and the one who don't make a book still they are nobody we Christian we don't follow those names we don't 